Hey guys, so for this level that I created, um, I wanted it to be sort of like a factory, fire pit, grungy sewer type of area um, for the player to play on. And so for the secondary weapon, I had wanted this needle cannon to be the weapon of choice because I feel like it's more fun to destroy enemies with. And plus, I feel like the color of this type of weapon really fits, like, the player and the level. So I feel like it's very complimentary. And so, for this, this is the very first enemy. I wanted to include him here so that the player could fire ammo so that they could know that these pickups could refill their ammo. And so then really for the first minute or so, it's mainly just some basic jumps so that the player could just get, like, a feel of the level. And so then the reason why I had this shorter platform with this enemy on it is because I wanted the player to get intentionally hurt so that they could know that you could pick up some more health pickups for once they do get injured, which is a perfect example right there. So then here's the spike things, which will come more into play eventually in the level for uh, later on. And so then the player just grabbed the blue key to this blue door. There's going to be several different keys and doors all throughout this level. For example, there's this green key right there that the player just picked up. So then here's this platform that has you jump over spikes. And then you fall more and more into the sewage area. And then for these enemies that are stationary on the ground, I wanted to put them on there on purpose so that the player can't just like jump over them. And then those guys, once fired upon, they charge at you. And so since this is sort of like the sewer area now, I wanted the bottom ground level to really be like water because I feel like that fits the scene more. And I also wanted the player to now jump over onto these platforms past the water. And so then you go through this door, now still in like the like warehouse type of area, and then you jump on this platform again. This pickup refills your ammo by 10. And so then this enemy is really the first of many like smaller bosses, I guess like, like a mini boss. Since I wanted the player to practice and for them to to really fight through these stronger enemies as they go through. And so then you grab the key, you go to this next door, which gets you back up the surface. And I really wanted this type of stage to really be more of like a fire pit area, to where it could challenge the player even more so. So then here obviously I added some flames, and I wanted timing to be one of the core mechanics of this game, which is why I added several different of these flame items like right next to each other. Since I wanted to give the player like like a little bit more of a challenge and not just like run like all throughout the level. And so then you grab the key on that upper platform. This leads to this next orange door, which need which leads to your next series of these mini bosses. And so really the reason why I sort of Put this platform in like this that the enemy is on is because I had envisioned these guys as sort of snipers so I wanted the player to really fight the same way as these snipers do since I feel like that complements the whole like fighting style really well and so then as you can see you cannot go down to this next door until you grab this green key so you grab the green key this leads you down to this next door and then it leads you down to this checkpoint area, which you refill your ammo and your health. And then you see these enemies that charge at you again. And so then since we're back in the sewer area, then there's platforms and water again. And then these couple enemies, sort of like the enemies that, you, that we saw at the beginning of the level, except they kind of move. There's a spike again. And then these enemies are really the same as from the beginning of the level. 
there's an enemy that we also saw. And then I had made these spikes sort of shorter so that the player could now slide, as I want that to be like one of the mechanics that the player now is gonna use for say some of the other different types of like levels that I put. And then this little pickup fully refills fully refills the health and the ammo because they're about to fight the boss in this. So then this boss is really like a fire like fire boss for the most part because I feel like he complements this level like extremely well because it shoots fire at you. Also could could um could shoot fire from the ground as well. And so then you defeat them. And then once you defeat this enemy, then as you can see, then a key drops and then this music changes back. And then you open up the door with the key. And then and then this eventually leads you outside, which is what I wanted like like the next couple levels to be or at least the next level after this one to be where he finally finds the door outside, which is why I didn't want the level to end at that boss because I wanted the player to see that there's going to be more after that level. And so then you just shoot at this flying, like, confetti balloon, and then you win.